Good morning, you guys. I have no idea what official day it is of quarantine, lockdown, all of that. But I feel like today was the first day where, well, actually yesterday I had a really good day. But I feel like today's the first day where I wake up and I feel like just a little more calm about the whole situation. Also, the weather was nice yesterday and it looks sunny today. So that definitely plays like a huge part in it. Um, for all of you who don't live somewhere where it's like sunny most of the time, just know that I feel you because I grew up in Washington state and it would be nice like sometimes, you know, especially in the summer, like it would be beautiful, but I just remember those like winters. <laughs> Felt like they would last a year and it would just always be raining and dark and like I really don't know how I would get up and go to school so early and it would just be like horrible outside. Like that plays so much into your mental health. So don't forget to take your vitamin D supplements um, and all of that. I don't really know what changed, but I feel like I just, I don't know if I've accepted it or if it's just kind of like, okay, let's do this. I stay home a lot, a lot of the time anyway. So it's not like that was a huge deal for me. I think for me, just like, first of all, just the stress of everything that's going on and always seeing it every day, there's something new. Um, but I've been trying to make a more conscious effort of if I feel myself because there's one thing to just like stay informed like When people are like don't listen to the news and stuff. It's like, okay You want to know what's going on? But when I feel myself starting to get really anxious or like Unnecessarily stressed about something that I can't control or a headline that I'm reading or an article that I'm reading Then I just like stop and that's been helping and then also I found a couple accounts on IG that are just really positive like there's one called I think it's called the good good but it, they only post positive news so that's kind of refreshing to have on my ig timeline at least and then this other one i think her account's called therapy for women but she's been posting a lot of just really helpful anxiety stress reducing just like hacks tips and tricks just little it's just like positivity and i feel like making a conscious effort to have that on your timeline where you know we're always seeing like <laughs> depressing stuff or just stressful stuff don't get me wrong, most of my timeline is memes and like lols, which I love. Love that sense of like community and like we're all in this together and just not feeling alone in that sense. But you know, there's always gonna be like news and articles and just stuff that's like, yeah, again, I'm important to stay informed, but you don't want every waking moment of your life to be filled with <laughs> like stress. So let me know how you guys have been feeling. I think that's made a difference over these past honestly just like a couple days because <laughs> bitch a few days ago i was really like feeling down i think for me also just having my routine in that sense um disrupted mostly just the gym because the gym is a place where i go to like relieve stress and to have like my my alone time as i'm alone the rest of the day but you know where i just go to like chill and you can really get addicted to the gym just because of like you know the endorphins that are released when you're working out and um, I think yesterday my little at-home workout just really made me feel like, okay, like, I can do this. Just seeing other people, people who are more into the fitness community than me, posting their at-home workouts and being like, yeah, this sucks, but it's what we have to do. Like, that just made me feel a lot better. It's just, like, really weird. Like, this feels fake. If you told me a year ago that this would happen, I'd be like, you're crazy. Like, <laughs> also, can we shout out to my skin real quick? Bitch, it's really the lighting right now because it's sunny out and it's like reflecting on to the building onto me, but it just like, okay, bitch. Oh my God. Watch my Accutane series if you haven't, but why does it look so good? So I'm about to post my vlog and then edit my vlog from yesterday and then probably eat and then go on a walk low key. I'm gonna see what kind of upper body workout I can do with these bands because again, my bands that all the IG fitness trainers and people are using, I ordered them and they haven't come yet. So we're gonna see what we can do with what we have today. Maybe I'll be able to do 1000 pushups at the end of this. You know, being outside, going outside, even if it's just walking, you know, not really doing intense cardio, but just walking, breathing fresh air, just kind of like observing what's going around. And also it's springtime. I mean, officially, you know, like almost, um, but at least here, like a lot of things have been in bloom. So yesterday I just kind of found a lot of like peace in just observing nature and it's just so true like it's stuff that we know we we've experienced we've read about but once you actually go out and do it it's like okay i actually do feel calmer so that's low-key been nice you know 
just because we're on lockdown doesn't mean we can't go outside you know just take your precautions don't talk to people also i keep seeing this um the like whipped coffee on tiktok and i really want to try it and well at first i was just like ew i'm not like a coffee snob but it's like i am i love a good like dark french roast coffee that's like amazing like they're using instant coffee and i'm like that's literally disgusting this is for people who like i love coffee get like a, a frappuccino from starbucks which no disrespect i really don't care but i'm like but the more i watch these tiktoks of people making it the more i'm like intrigued and i realized that i have all of these little like packs of instant coffee that are already i think they're already kind of sweetened i'm gonna try that today just to see and also they um Increase the hours at the coffee machine downstairs. It was open, so bitch, I'm so happy. I'm gonna go edit now, so good morning. It started pouring rain, so I got like 6,000 steps and then I went home. First it was just sprinkling, but then I got like insane. And now it's sunny again. So I'm like, why? But now we're doing another home workout. I'm gonna do some upper body today. So let's see how this works with, again, what I have. Here we have a classic, seems like a classic these days. I've definitely been eating a lot more vegan food and vegan meals and just like overall. So I have this little coffee zen and I guess we're just gonna try this. Usually in all the videos I've seen, you use just regular instant coffee and sugar. This has stevia already in it and coconut, like powdered coconut creamer. Okay, like I get people are bored, but the amount of TBTs. Oh, I hope you're doing insane. Like, it's like, bitch, you thought the Mercury retrograde was bad, bitch? No. So I guess I'm just gonna do this for a while. My hand is literally gonna fall off. I'm sick of this. I was gonna say, you know, I can definitely tell, but I can't tell. I wish I had an electric mixer. This is not working. I think I put too much water. Update, I added a full another packet, and I don't know if it's thicker just because I did that or because we're actually getting somewhere. I just saw somebody do it with this. And I forgot I had this, so bitch. I didn't film myself making it because I was actually making a TikTok, so follow me on TikTok. Just did a good thing. I don't regret this thing at all. And you're wondering what it is. I'll tell you what I did, I did a good thing. But it just would not get to that super like whipped texture, but it's still like, it tastes bomb. It all kind of went to the bottom. Again, follow me on TikTok if you wanna see me like physically assembling it, but I don't know, maybe it's just that coffee because there's other stuff in it. It's not just instant coffee. I'm not mad at this though, like this is still. I have to think though, I put three of those packets in this. So am I about to be tweaking or what? I mean, I would definitely do this again. Bomb. So sweet. I was gonna put more almond milk, but I need to ration this, okay? Just making potatoes. I got my 10,000 step goal, y'all. Apparently the mayor of Los Angeles just announced that like everything's closed. So like non-essential. It's pretty much the same thing. I saw people talking about it on Twitter and I was like, how could it be more than it is? But it's pretty much just like, they're really urging everyone to stay home and non-essential businesses are 
like aren't allowed to be open. Which again, pretty much. It's like okay, if you were still open, like you good. Said I still just feel kind of like more calm about it now, and like I don't know if I would say accepting, but I guess a little more in that direction. Also, did you guys experience like a flu in? December and early January because I just saw someone tweet about it and it had a lot of retweets and favorites and I definitely feel like I had that I don't know if I was vlogging during that time but I think I was like podcasting which reminds me I didn't even do a podcast yesterday but I've just been vlogging you know my family was talking about it and then my friends a few of my friends were talking about it like damn we were really all sick during that time and like I think I remember telling you guys I've never been sick like this or I haven't been sick like this in so long like years so it's like was that the corona but let me know if you were sick around that time i remember a lot of people saying that they were sick i just remember so many people were sick and it was like i haven't i don't remember this happening last year or the year before. also i saw another tweet that was basically like act as if you already have it and you're trying not to get other people sick a lot of people are still being like so just like i don't care it doesn't have to be a big deal in the sense of like you know you don't have to freak out and panic but it's just like flat flatten the curve you know like the problem is you don't want everyone to be sick at once so that you know systems fail and hospitals are overloaded so that's the curve that everyone's on yeah. on my walk there was definitely more people out than earlier and i wonder if that's just because i was i walked a different way where there's more just like restaurants and stuff I really hope we're just not allowed i hope we're allowed to still like take a walk also this restaurant by my house had 50 percent off just 50% off. Me, yes or no. I was just doing some emails and I need to change the thumbnail, I think, for tomorrow's video. And then does my house one? I was thinking about how I t tweeted this earlier, but I was thinking about how this feels like the week in between Christmas and New Year's. Like, it just kind of feels like time is fake. You don't really know what day it is. You're just kind of like waiting for something to happen or like nothing's really happening. It's like, what is this? It's like everyone's at home. Like it's, it's weird. Thank you guys for watching and commenting. A lot of people were saying that these were keeping them sane and I feel the same way. All these games on IG are really funny. Like IG stories, like people are like, see a shunt, take a shunt. See an orange, draw an orange. That's what I'm doing. Nobody better tag me in any shots because I don't want to drink. Oops.